How's it going, everybody? Lost with Jerry here. Uh, right now, I'm getting everything started. You know, everybody's going to church this morning, so I'm over here finna get ready to start on my beautiful roast I got here. This morning here is like a almost look like a twenty pounder roast. So right now, I'm gonna start putting my little season salt on it. You know, gotta put enough of pepper on it to make it taste good. You know, no matter what it takes. Alright, so when I get done putting pepper on it like that, then I got my Lurry Season Salt that I use all the time, so, uh, get that good flavor. Man, so, cooking is good. I love cooking every day, you know. That's my favorite, It's cooking. Uh, then I use some, um, this, uh, honey, what's this, this mozzarella steaks. It's some kind of season salt here for steaks. So it's it's really good stuff here. I just sprinkle just a little bit of that stuff on there on the top of it, on both sides, so it gives you that good flavor from it. It's like a little bitty uh, pellets that's inside of it, but it's more like the season that's uh falling onto the meat. But them things them things supposed to stick stick on it some kind of way. But you know I'm gonna put that on the back of it. You know see how good it sticks on there. But it's it's on there now. It's enough for season. I don't want to put too much on it because uh, then a lot of people be like, well, what is that taste, you know? And I don't want to give them that secret to that taste. You know, I got a bunch of that in my cabinet. If I run out, you know, I always got something left over somewhere. Uh, most time after I get done seasoning this, you know, I want it to cook nice and tender. So the taste better. Uh, that way the meat be falling apart instead of having that tough eating thing going on. So, I usually take my fork and I poke it, you know, where the heat can get inside of it. And it will cook real good. You know, a lot of people know when it comes down beating your meat, you know, if you beat it with a hammer, you know, you're just going to flatten it out. I don't want to flatten mine out. Me, I just like to poke it. Uh, that way it come out nice and tender. Usually I take it and I flip it over again and do the same thing to the other side, you know. It's a pretty thick roast, but man, it's going to be good when I get done with it. So I'm going to do this and uh, and then I'm going to cook some uh, greens with it because my wife loves greens. I tell you, she really does. And uh, I'm going to figure out something else that she want to eat with it, you know. Uh, she usually eat a salad with it, so. I'm going to put my tongues in there with it and uh, use that, uh, excuse me, to get everything done, done with it. Um, right now, it's time to roll outside and put this bad boy on the gas grill. Alright, so yesterday, uh, excuse me for a minute. Yesterday, I used the gas grill yesterday and with the wings. And it turned out pretty pretty good, you know. The wife had fun eating it and everything. So, got my baby sitting here. Hold on for a second. Yeah, got to cut on this gas on this because I don't leave my gas on all night long on my tank. So, I usually just... There we go. She just lit up, so uh, go ahead and finish. Like the rest of them. Uh, I usually cook it right on high for for at least five, ten minutes. Excuse me, go ahead hear a little noise. Let me go out. I have to get some light going on inside of here if I can see. Uh, right now, this grill here, I had bought this grill maybe two years ago. And Kmart's was going out of out of business, and I got this grill for fifty bucks. The original price on that on that grill was five hundred some dollars, you know, and I got it for fifty. So, but it was already put together when I bought it. So I had the dock mobile, but it wasn't fit inside the dock mobile. So I had to call one of my cousins up to have him come out and meet me at K Kmart's, get inside his uh, truck, you know, and we brought it home. So I never use 
any other grill since then. So now, since my temperature is up, right now it's like 20, 200 degrees right now. So it's moving up. So once it get up to two and a half, then I go ahead and put the meat on there and stuff. But uh, while well, I'm doing that anyway, might as well go ahead and it's smoking right now, man. It's, it's hot up in there, but I want to make sure it's nice and hot before I put on there because you want to make sure both sides of the meat is brown before you cut it down. So you want your, the meat kind of, what, what they call the black lines to it or whatever. Make sure it's got your lines on it and everything. The heat is riding through it, you know, and stuff like that. Once the heat starts getting in between the meat, then you can start slowing down your cooking. You don't want to cook it too fast. You want to cook it just right. So right now, that temperature is up now. So uh, we're going here and pop this on. See, like I got a little fire thing going on there. So it's all right if it got a little fire thing going on. So you want to make sure you get this big boy up in there. Right now, it's kind of hard to get it up out that bucket. We got it. So, we're going to let that simmer right there for a minute. You know, let it cook like that for a minute. So, even though a lot of people used to take Luma foil and wrap up their food and stuff and put on the grill, Lost Jerry don't put Luma foil on nothing because I've seen that happen before and the meat sticks to it, you know. And I ain't got time to be putting no butter down in between and all that stuff like that. But onions and stuff like that, it's good to have the onions. But I'm going to do the onions later on when the meat gets done. You know, I'm going to take my onions and cook them on the stove. And then once the meat gets done, I can put the uh, onions on top of it, whatever. I want to put on there like green peppers or whatever. So then again, like since it's burning right now a little bit, so you want to flip it back over and let it cook like that for a minute. And then once you um, get that nice heat right through your meat, then your meat will be nice and tender. So she's going to cook slow for the rest of the day. So by the time the wife and them get out of church today, my baby should be just about done. So I'm not going to rush it, but I'm going to make sure she's done the right way. Okay? So I don't burn my food at all. I never do burn my food. So I like this gas grill better than charcoal. Chocolate, I don't like the taste from it, you know, the uh, smell. When, after you get done cooking your meat, the gas grill don't give you all of that, you know what I'm saying? It, it's cooking like it's cooking inside your house on top of the stove. But I, I have an electric stove, so I can't cook it on there. So I blow that bad boy up or eat it on fire. We don't want to do that either. So we're going to make sure the meat is done the right way. You know, since I'm off for the two days, you know, I like cooking. I'm going to cook my meat. And... Summertime, just right around the corner, you know, and I've been cooking outside ever since. So, I love cooking. Alright, she looks good there too, so that turned out pretty good. But now I got like uh, three burners that's on right now, and I'm going to cut these bad boys down the low. I keep one up high, pretty much a little bit high, but not too much. And then I scoot the meat over where the two burners are at that's on low. The other side is in between. So I got four, four burners that's on here. That one is off. These three is on. So low, low, and medium, medium high, whatever. So see, you don't see the flame anymore, right? Not too much at all. So she, I'm going to go ahead and close my lid down and let this meat go ahead and start cooking. So pretty much you want to make sure your cooker is like at 400 degrees when it's cooking with that roast underneath there. So you got to know how to maintain your volume on your gas. And once it get up to that 400, you want to kind of keep it at that 400 if you have to cut back on your heat or something like that. So a lot of people like to keep them up high. You go up any higher than that, you're going to 600. I ain't going to no 600. I'm going to go to stay at 400. So pretty much that's what it's all about right there. So uh, don't forget to leave your comments, thumbs up, and um, man, subscribe my channel. And I'm going to let you guys know how this roast turned out later on today. 
And just in case, third two game, want to let y'all take another peek before I go. Now, even though that's up high now, that's still burning. I got to cut back on that, but she's fine. She's not going to uh, burn my meat because my meat is over. Just in case, we want to make sure it stays over. But, oh, yeah, she's good. So now she's good. So that side there is going to burn. She can, she's going to go out a little bit. I cut back on the fire a little bit, you know, and let it go ahead and uh, digest, you know. That way my roast is feeling good. She feel comfortable on top of that grill. She's not afraid, but she will be okay once, once she gets done. Okay, so Lost with Jerry will tune, tune, tune back in with you guys when it's all done. Let you guys know what it look like and what it tastes like. And, hey, you know what? Lost with Jerry just going to see you guys later on, all right? 32 game. <laughs> Peace. I'm out.